Good morning, this is Larry McMillan with a stock market update on uh, Monday, January 8th. <clears throat> so, uh, the market had a pretty rough first week uh, last week, but it really hasn't completely, you know, changed things. We're still holding a core bullish position because the SPX chart is bullish. It just had advanced so far and so fast that uh, a correction seems to be um, in the normal course of things right now. S&P has pulled back to its rising 20-day moving average, and it could even pull back a little farther. We do, uh, you know, don't really see support down till about 4,600. Uh, obviously, support could develop above that area. If we were to fall below 4,550, which is the December lows, that would be very bearish. But uh, any pullback to just, you know, the low 4,600s would still be within the normal context of a bullish trend. So we'll see what develops there. We are getting some sell signals, especially based on market internals, but really no sell signals based on uh, implied volatility, VIX and its various uh, components. So let's go over um, the things. There is resistance on the S&P's chart now near 4,800. Uh, which is a little bit uh, problematic because that's exactly where the market topped out in January of 2022. So if we should fall back from here, uh, that's a big double top. And that, that kind of thing has existed in the past and hindered the market for quite a long time while it was in, in uh, effect. But uh, a breakout above 4,800, of course, would be very uh, bullish. The equity-only put call ratios have rolled over to sell signals. They were getting close, and uh, this latest selling has uh, generated some put buying, and so that, that's made the ratios begin to rise, and that's bearish for stocks. So those uh, indicators are, are bearish right now. Similarly, uh, breadth was terrible last week, and so we got sell signals from our breadth oscillators. Those have been uh, confirmed by the oscillators staying on those sell signals for two or three days. Sometimes they whipsaw right back out of a signal, but this time uh, is not, not the case. And so that's another uh, negative that we're seeing. We also have the McMillan volatility band sell signal, uh, which has a target of the lower uh, band, which is right now right around that 4600 level we talked about uh, earlier. But most of the rest of the indicators are actually bullish or at least not, not giving us much of a problem right now. For example, new highs on the New York Stock Exchange continue to outpace new lows, so that's that indicator remains positive. VIX is very low, so the trend of VIX buy signal remains in place. Uh, we would only become worried about VIX if it were to jump up and close above its 200-day moving average, which is right around 16 at the current time. Realized volatility has uh, one of those... Uh, is one of those indicators that has given a tentative sell signal. It's climbed above 10%, but yet, I mean, the 20-day historical volatility, uh, realized volatility of SPX. Uh, if it were to fall back below 9, that would stop out this, uh, the, this sell signal. And we are coming up on a potentially uh, negative seasonal period that goes between the 8th and 18th trading days of January. A short-term thing to be sure, but still could be problematic. So, uh, overall, we are still holding our core bullish position. We are trading these other signals around it. And uh, I invite you to visit our website, take a look at some of the new things we have to offer, and uh, maybe take a look at our daily newsletters so you can keep up, uh, you know, up to the minute on these uh, various indicators. Meanwhile, have a great week trading.